The cardiovascular system is one of the first systems to form in an embryo and the heart is the first functional organ. Thanks to this amazing organ and its pumping action, blood is able to circulate around the body. In the following presentation, we will look at blood flow through a healthy heart and a heart with a congenital heart disorder called an atrial septal defect. The heart's job is to pump blood through the body. The right and left sides of the heart work together in unison to pump blood continuously. In the right side of the heart, deoxygenated blood flows in through the superior and the inferior vena cava, both of which are major veins that collect oxygen-poor blood from the systemic circulation of the upper and lower parts of the body. It then enters the right atrium under low pressure during diastole and drains into the right ventricle through the open, right atrioventricular valve, commonly called the tricuspid valve. As with all of the valves within the heart, it is a one-way valve that prevents the backflow of blood. When the right ventricle is full, the tricuspid valve closes and the ventricle contracts. This contraction pumps blood out of the ventricle under pressure during systole through the pulmonary semilunar valve and into the pulmonary artery. It is then taken to the lungs where the blood picks up oxygen and drops off carbon dioxide before returning to the heart. This is known as pulmonary circulation. Once the blood is freshly oxygenated in the lungs, it returns to the left atrium via the pulmonary veins and drains into the left ventricle through the left atrioventricular valve, commonly known as the bicuspid or mitral valve. The left ventricle contracts, pumping blood through the aortic semilunar valve under high pressure into the arch of the aorta that descends and delivers oxygenated blood via arteries, arterioles and capillaries to all the cells of the body. As it moves through the capillaries, it loses oxygen and picks up carbon dioxide and the now deoxygenated blood travels through venules, into veins and into the superior and inferior vena cava to start the cycle all over again. As we can see, this amazingly complex organ not only circulates the blood and keeps our immune system healthy and our heart pumping, it literally maintains and sustains our life.